on my way now. You just give me a... Okay, as somebody who's been doing a lot of travel lately, I realize that there's some tips, some tricks, and just some things that I use in general that make not only the travel process easier, but also the TSA security process a little bit easier as well. And since I'm in a hotel, again, for the umpteen time, if you didn't see from the intro, I am in Minnesota, uh, and I like it. It's pretty, it's nice here, it's very nice weather, very, uh, not as hot as some of the places that I've been going lately. So I thought that this would be a good time to show you and kind of tell you some of those things that I've been using to make my travel experience as a whole a lot easier. But first, real quick, this video is brought to you by Western Rise. Now, if you know me and you know this channel, Western Rise is one of my favorite all-time clothing brands and their clothing is perfect, especially for travel. I personally like to use the boundless shorts and a cotton tee or their new Evolution 2.0 pants and a cotton tee. And right now with my discount code, OD, that's discount code ODIE, or you can use the link in the description. Western Rise is gonna give you 15% off your order. And if you're not really sure what to start off with with Western Rise, I always suggest either the Evolution pants, especially the new 2.0s, or the Diversion pants. And you cannot go wrong with one of their cotton tees. I absolutely love these. So check them out, use my discount code, get 15% off. And now, on with the video. Okay, whoa, okay, that chair, oh my, oh, wow, hey, welcome to my relaxed channel, apparently. This is ridiculous, can I fix this? It squeaks too, can you hear that? I don't like it. All right, so this is obviously a little bit of an interesting setting. Filming in hotels with a squeaky chair is never fun, but because I've been traveling a lot, like I said in the intro, I really wanted to show you some of the travel tips, and I say show, but really it's just telling you about some of the travel tips. And the first one is, if you're gonna be doing filmmaking or any kind of video creation or photography, make sure you have some mobile gear. I find it to be a lot easier. So tip number one, if you're a filmmaker, a YouTuber, or you can just like taking videos on the go, I always try to avoid bringing my full frame camera or even my smaller frame camera and I always go with my mobile filmmaking gear. Now I talk about my mobile filmmaking gear a lot on this channel and it kind of give you an idea of what it's comprised of. It's my DJI Pocket 2 which is absolutely perfect for filming in a setting like this or vlogging or just about anything because it's a nice little pocket camera with a gimbal on it, comes with a wireless mic that you can also connect a lapel mic to, has a mini tripod, tons of different attachments, it's absolutely perfect. On top of that, I always bring my DJI Action 2, which is a new little camera from DJI, it's like a little square, has a front screen you can get with it, bunch of different attachments, and that's really good if you're kind of like me and you don't like filming in front of people and you want to get shots like I did in the beginning, but you don't want people to see you with a big camera or your phone out or whatever. That is a nice little square that just makes recording so much easier if you're a little bit shy. And also on top of that, I always bring my DJI Action 1. I love both of the action cameras from DJI. I'm definitely a DJI over GoPro kind of person, but with that being said, GoPros are just as good. You know, it depends on what you want. There's tons of comparison videos out there, but those three cameras are so small, they can actually fit in what I call my mobile filmmaking pouch, which is actually just a medium wander tech pouch. I will link everything I'm talking about, cameras, gears, whatever it is, if it's something that you can buy or use, I will link it in the description below. And in this case, I can easily fit my mics, my pocket two, both of my action cameras, plus a bunch of little other, other accessories for mobile filmmaking. Tip number two has to do with security. So I always suggest one of two things when it comes to security. If you're doing one bag travel, or if you're checking a bag, if you're doing whichever one of those routes you're going, this is how this tip works. If you're checking a bag, I prefer to have my security be as easy as possible. I wear the lightest clothes. I wear the most comfortable clothes. I usually bring like a day pack. If you saw my video where I had finally released my all time favorite bag, my go-to is usually the Manal 3.0 as a carry on. But with that combo, the Wandered Hexad Access in 3.0, that's usually one big carry on combo. But if I'm checking a bag, like I did for this trip, because it's a two week long trip, then I typically bring a different kind of day pack that has a little bit more organization and can better fit a carry-on bag. In this case, it is the Bellroy Venture Pack, which is probably my second favorite 
day pack if I'm being honest. So I like to dress comfortably. I don't bring a lot of stuff with me in my check on. I don't bring my laptop. I don't bring anything that could potentially need to be pulled out. I like to just take off my shoes, throw my bag in and move on. However, if you're doing one bag travel, which I do quite a lot, then you can't really do that because everything goes in your bag. So my suggestion for security, if you're doing one bag travel and you wanna maximize the amount of space you have in your bag and you don't really care about your security experience, cause let's be honest, it's probably gonna suck either way, then I always wear my biggest, bulkiest clothes and make sure that I have my biggest, bulkiest shoes on as well. If I'm going somewhere and I know that I'm gonna need boots for hiking or going out and about, or if I'm gonna need to bring a jacket or thicker pants or any of that, then I either wear it or try to carry it, whether it be a jacket or whatever. I try to carry that through security instead of putting it in my bag because I wanna keep as much room in my bag as possible for the items that I'm gonna bring with me. But that is my tip for that is that if you're gonna check a bag, you know, be comfortable through security. Don't worry about it. Put everything that you need to pull out for security in your check bag because you don't have to worry about it. But if you're doing one bag travel, then make those items that you're gonna have to pull out easy to get to and wear your bulkiest clothes to maximize space in your bag. Number three is also a security tip. And this is like a little bit of a bonus one. But if you are somebody that wears a belt and you need to go through security, then I suggest checking out the arcade belts. They're a plastic clip belt that's fabric. I love them. I have about four of them. I use them for everything, for work, every day, different colors. They are phenomenal. You don't have to take them off. This is kind of like just a little bit of a nitpick on my part, but I hate taking my belt off. I hate taking my shoes off. I hate getting undressed in front of security because it's kind of a nightmare. So if you're somebody that brings a belt and needs to use a belt, then I would suggest checking the arcade belts out because you don't have to take them off in security because they're not metal and they're fantastic. That's a little just a little bonus thing that I use. I never really mentioned them, but I am a big fan. You can get them on Amazon, like 15 bucks a piece. My fourth tip again has to do with security and it's if you're somebody that you know you're gonna fly more than twice a year check out tsa pre-check it is a lifesaver uh, above and beyond because it makes not only the security process easier but if you're someone that's like me and before i had tsa pre-check you're like okay flight boards at 11 20 and the airport is 22.3 miles away so it takes me 33.5 minutes to get there and i need to make sure you have to like meticulously plan when you get there so you can check your bag and get through security. And then sometimes you get to security and you're like, okay, it's going to be an hour and then it's 10 minutes. And then you're sitting at the gate for like two hours. But if you are here and you know you're going to travel more than a couple times, TSA pre-check is a breeze. You sign up online, they do a background check, you have to go in person. It's kind of a hassle to get TSA pre-check, but I'm telling you right now, it is a thousand percent worth it. Do not sleep on TSA pre-check. Okay, and my next tip is kind of something that I've talked about before on this channel but nothing that I've really done extensively, and that's have a packing list. If you're gonna be going on a trip and you know you need to bring specific items and you're a forgetful Frank like I am sometimes, it is always good to make your own packing list. Now, I know there's tons of packing lists from tons of other channels and websites and things that are like, you should bring this, 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 and this, but let's be honest. What you're gonna bring and what I'm gonna bring and what forgetful Frank is gonna bring down the street is all gonna be different. So what I have done through my years of travels, I know the base items I'm gonna do. So I've created a packing list of the most common items that I know I'm going to absolutely want to bring and then my extra items that I might bring whether that be camera gear hiking gear camping gear or whatever it might be it depends on what the trip might be for so when it comes to making a packing list I would suggest looking at your previous trips that you've taken and even packing for the trip that you're about to go on and make a packing list off of that I always suggest instead of using a packing list that's on the internet or another person or another travel person might use make your own there is nothing wrong if you have a computer, if you have a phone, just typing out everything that you know you're going to bring. And then as you're going through and packing, you just check those off because you know it's what you need because it's created for your needs. Unlike other packing lists, which have some things that I've never, ever brought on a trip before because they might not be for me. So the more custom you can make a packing list for yourself, the better it's going to be in the long run. Okay. And the next tip I have has to do with like waiting in the airport or being on the plane. I do not like this chair holy crap i feel like i'm gonna fall backwards but my tip is bring a good portable charger now i understand that a lot of airplanes now have like plugins in the seats underneath them and obviously in the terminal there's always going to be plugs but sometimes it can be crowded sometimes it can be hard to get to those plugs or when you're flying sometimes you might be next to somebody that's going to take up every single ounce of your space and you can't get down there or maybe you're like me and you didn't bring the actual wall charger and it doesn't have a usb 
I always bring one of these, even if I don't need it, even if I know I might not need it, bringing a portable charger can be a lifesaver. Okay, and my final tip, and this kind of goes without saying, is to pick a bag that's gonna fit your needs. There's a ton of bags, and I've reviewed and used a ton of bags on this channel, and other bag review channels have probably done way way more and the thing is at the end of the day whatever bag i use or review if you're like oh i like that but it doesn't do this this or this then maybe it's not the bag for you you want to make sure that the travel bag you're going to use especially if you're going to be doing one bag travel because that's the key right there one bag travel is amazing not having to check a bag not having to wait putting in the overhead bin and just calling it a day is fantastic but you want to make sure that bag is going to fit your needs i personally love the wandered hex ed access duffel as i mentioned in my video about my favorite bag because it fits everything that i need and it works really well but it might not work for you so whatever bag you're going to get when you're going to pull the trigger on buying a bag for your needs make sure it's a bag that fits and checks your boxes don't go off what other people have said use that as a reference to see if it fits what you want but at the end of the day that bag needs to be exactly what you need not anybody else because you're the one that's going to be using it and you're the one that needs to use those pockets that organization that comfortability that hot those hip, hip strap <laughs> the quick access, the security dump, whatever it might be, that is for you at the end of the day and nobody else. So if you want any suggestions, I know a great channel that you might be watching at this moment that has tons of videos. Or I always suggest, I love Chase Reeves. He's another good one. Bo is Mono, a good friend of mine, also has great ones. And you can go with, you know, the Goliath themselves, Pack Hacker. All of them are great. I, I, will, show, I will always throw love to other bag review channels because um, I feel like we're just like one big happy family. We just don't we just don't know it yet. So I think with all of that, that is the tips that I have been using and I have utilized for a while when it comes to my travel. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. And if you have a travel tip that you think is super handy that people should know about, throw that down in the comments below because we should always share that wonderful knowledge with other people. Um, you can always shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com. I'm always open for discussions, further videos, photos, whatever you might need. Hey. And also, don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway. I don't know if you saw, but my previous video, I'm doing a huge EDC giveaway just as a thank you from me to you. So if you want a chance to win some cool day packs, some slings, some other stuff that's in that little bundle that I'm giving away, check out that video. Uh, head over there and I will link it so you can enter to win some cool stuff. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that wonderful nonsense. Thank you guys again so much for the love and support. And I will see you probably in this hotel again next time.